Need help. I'm getting worried. I won't be able to max Akechi by November 11th. You're in July. Do you have time? What rank is Akechi? You should have plenty of time. You're in July? What is that? The fifth palace? You'll have boatloads of time to max out Akechi. You only have to get him to rank eight? It's eight or seven. I think it's eight. Rank three right now? Yeah, I mean, just hang out with him whenever he's available. Use Chihaya's ability on him and all that. You can't even get him to like rank six, seven, and eight. Or maybe it's just seven and eight. You can't even get him to seven and eight until the sixth palace anyway. So. You should have plenty of time. Let's go to Taliesin at long last. I don't have a class four to do, do I? No, I've already done these. Because they, they aren't question marks, which means I've already been to them once, and if I went to them, I did them. Tataliesin, away! Look at that ship go. We could skip this, but I like watching it. I love how it shows the ship docking at other places as it goes. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's sour. So you've kept your sense of taste. In my dreams, I have. Nowhere else. Does that make this a dream? It would have to be, wouldn't it? After all... I devoured you. That's right. Don't you go forgetting it. How could I ever forget it? The taste of your... <gasps> How could I ever? Looks like the fog's rolling in. Yep. Eleanor, there's something I want to be sure we get perfectly clear. Um, all right. What is it? Luffy said is not your little Moloch. What? That's all you wanted to say? You realize he doesn't belong to you either, right? Indeed I do. Luffy sets his own person, and not anyone else's. Y you're right. Malakim aren't just tools to be used by exorcists as they pleased. I'll be more careful not to forget that. Good, as long as we're on the same page. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of reminders, you haven't forgotten our little bet, have you, Velvet? You mean the 100 gold on whether I'd break? No. I haven't forgotten. A word of caution. People can fight against pain, but they can't fight against happiness. If you're keen on winning our bet, I'd steer clear of ill-fitting dreams. Sorry to break it to you, but all I have anymore are nightmares. Yo, that's metal. What the heck? What a line. Hey, it's Taliesin. The fog's cleared. Good thing we didn't wind up getting lost in it. Of course we didn't. Who do you think is running this ship? A bunch of shameless rogues who are very good at shameless roguery. Damn straight. But it's strange. These waters don't usually see much fog. <laughs> I love Eisen. Cliff City of the East, Taliesin. There is definitely another character card child here. I think it's the last one before the master one if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, we're gonna be playing some character cards. I hear a kitty. Oh, isn't, I, I vaguely remember this. I think Taliesin has a bunch of cats in it for some reason. It's like, oh, Taliesin, we've got all the cats. Coming through. Whoa, it's like a castle. This used to be the base of operations for a rich trading family. When trouble came knocking, they were ready for it, to say the least. Wow! They must have had a lot of enemies. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it's just another town in the middle of nowhere. But even so, to us, it was the big city of our dreams. You know this area well. I grew up near here. Keep on going, and you'll run into a ball. My home village. Then, the Therian is... 
Yeah, somewhere in my village. Is that okay? No one will know me there. Everyone I knew, I already devoured. Look at all these cats! This is Richie's paradise. Open up. White bunny ears. Did that say great for eavesdropping? <laughs> oh, we got a lot of people to chat with. Okay. <sighs> I just love the feel of the sun on my face. I'm glad the fog finally cleared up. For days, it was so thick. You couldn't see past your own nose. We're lucky a demon didn't show up in all that fog. Hmm? Nisgan hasn't had much demon trouble to speak of. Didn't you know that? During the advent, towns all across Eastgand were attacked by demons. It was Lord Artorius who saved us. Ever since, our towns have seen almost no demon attacks. Is that true? Oh, pardon me, Lady Exorcist. But if you're with the Abbey, surely you've heard about how things are here in Eastgand. Of course, demons are lurking about outside our towns. But for whatever reason, they don't attack us where we live. That sounds unbelievable. Everyone who visits us from abroad says the same thing. But this is neither joke nor lie. Everyone says that Lord Artorius's power lingers here, protecting our town against the demons. Whatever the reason, you're safe here. Relax and please enjoy yourselves. Thank you. We appreciate it. Why do demons avoid these towns? I wonder why. I wonder why indeed. I actually don't remember. <laughs> Good day. How are you liking Taliesin? I bet you're surprised not to see any exorcists. Yeah. I've never been to a town like this. The exorcists stationed in Eastgand often leave to help deal with problems in other parts of the world. Then again, few are stationed here to begin with. Are they on another of those expeditions now? That's right. They're currently in Northgand, helping put down a group of dangerous demons. Even though they're gone, we still have regular exorcist patrols stop by. We feel safe enough with them. Maybe they should just move the capital to East Gand. Of course, I know there's no way that would happen. <laughs> yeah, just casually move your capital. Japan did it once, right? Tokyo to Kyoto? Or no, Kyoto to Tokyo. I said it backwards. Can't be that difficult. You're travelers, right? How are other towns doing? Is the demon blight as bad as they say? Demons are attacking cities all the world over, and the demon blight is spreading like wildfire! It's nuts! That's terrible. Living in this town, I almost forgot about the demons. There hasn't been a case of demon blight here since the advent. Nothing much has changed over the past three years. Yeah, this town's the same as it's always been. You've been here before? Many times. Really now? Wait, there is something that changed. The prickle boar meat. The prickle boar meat? Yep, it's gotten much easier to get your hands on high quality, tasty meat. The hunters are probably able to do so well because they don't have to worry about demon attacks. Well, I hope you enjoy your return to Taliesin. Have fun. A town without demons. Hmm. Could be there's a Therian at the Earth Pulse Point in Eastgan that's devouring the malevolence. What do you think? That would certainly explain things. It's getting pretty sus. This is all looking pretty oh, Damn! I forgot today was the day Nico was coming. I missed out on buying that special quiche. <sighs> That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop here. You'd think it would be easier than always having to make the long trek from a ball. I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin. What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. Sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. That can't be. It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico, who comes here once a week to sell things. Just yesterday, my husband sent medicine to the general store there and got some juicy prickle boar meat in return. That can't be right. I, with my own hand, I... Velvet? Getting pretty sussy baka. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Why are there so many cats? Where did they all come from? 
Is it the cats that keep the demons at bay? Velvet said a ball was wiped off the map, but it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. Do you think a new group of settlers moved in? Apparently that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She said something about Artorias having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse point? I can't say. We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. We won't find the truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together. Forever, probably. Oh. <laughs> Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness within darkness? What'll we do then? Bien! How do you like my Bien food impression chat? Pretty spot on, right? I'm something of an impressionist myself. Uh, I need the geo board here. <laughs> we should probably get on that. This town looks like such a hassle to live in. Being up on the cliff sides. However, at the same time, it also looks really cool. So, you know. There, there's some trade-off there. Oh, hey, it's the character card kid. Awesome. I want to punch you in the mouth. Metaphorically, with card games. But also, if you cheat, I'll punch you in the mouth. Physically, not metaphorically. Everything's really confusing for Velvet right now. Uh, stuff like she thought a ball was in ruins, apparently isn't. She thought she killed Nico, apparently she didn't. Uh, there are no demon attacks. There are so... So many cats, just a lot. It's time to play some card games. Now's the perfect time. We've all seen Yu-Gi-Oh here, probably for the most part. I don't know how many people in chat have actually seen Yu-Gi-Oh or not, but you can always solve your problems with a hearty helping of children's card games. All right, all right. No Symphonia people out. Uh, let's grab Alvin immediately. So we can try and get Renegade potentially. Because we have two renegades in hand, we just can't play them right now. Tyr and Luke. Mm, okay, you had the other renegade. I really wanted to get Sheena here, but I had to make sure I got... Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I had to make sure I got my chance at that Scion. That's perfect. Yeah, Hubert and Pascal, they belong together. Okay. Let's do this. I'm really hoping the AI throws down a Symphonia. Ugh. I'm worried that if I throw down Colette, he's just gonna have a Symphonia. There's only one Symphonia left, it's Lloyd. If you have Lloyd, I really wanna force you to play Lloyd. I'd rather risk this. You might have the Last Abyss. You did have the Last Abyss. Probably should've, ah, well, now I got no choice. Oh, this is great. I'm a heroic scion. How likely is it that you would finish out on your turn? You would have to get the other ninja to show up or the other princess to show up. The other princess is not Abyss. Who's the other princess? It's Vesperia. I don't think that's likely. I'm gonna, I really wanna get Renegade. I'm gonna bet on getting a Renegade next turn. No, you got Lloyd of all the lucky, I hate this game. All right, well, oh, we got Tales of Fantasia, so don't feel as bad about it now, but I'm so upset that you got Lloyd off the top deck. I'll take my 41 points. If I'd gotten Lloyd there, it would have been unreal. It would have been so insanely good. Oh, you got Mila and Jude? Man, I wish that were me. Oh, hey, Zealous, welcome back. Fancy seeing you here. Oh man, we totally could have gotten, you're so lucky you lucked into that. We totally could have gotten all of, Eternia? I think this is Eternia? Uh, I have all of the Eternia cards in my hand other than the one on the field, so I don't have to worry about grabbing the Eternia stuff right now because I'm guaranteed to get it over the AI. They cannot possibly draw it. And this could be going better. Ooh, that's really good. Ooh, that's even better. Woodrow, what's up? Okay. 
Well, all right. Neither, no, I'm gonna go out on Sworn Ally here. I was about to say, it's possible that none of us get anything. Wow, that was an awful hand for both of us. What a terrible combination of cards. Jude and Mila, let's go! And I got Luke and Tyr. OTPs for days. And Sheena and Zelos, it doesn't stop. All right, Jade and Anise, not really. That one kind of ruined the streak, but whatever. Uh, I might be able to luck into all of Zillia. Really wish that I could have. Well, you know, that works. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good off this top deck. All right, that's not good at all. That didn't, nothing good there. Well, I'll take that, I guess. Oh, he got adorable sidekick? Wow. You're gonna go out because you're gonna end up getting Yuri and getting Scion, so I'm just gonna finish there and I'll take my 72 points and move on. I'll take the intermediate challenge now, thank you. Man, other than that second round just ending out on basically nothing, that was a pretty good game for us. We could potentially get all of Vesperia here. Maybe. That sucks. All right, never mind. Dreams immediately ruined. And you already have one of the mages, so even though there are two mages in play, there's no shot of me getting all four of them. Actually, I should probably make sure to grab a mage so that you don't, but also maybe I can get all of Tales of Destiny. There is a chance we could get all of Tales of Destiny. I just need the last destiny to show up because I have the fifth one in my hand. The AI does have three of the mages though, which really scares me. The one time we're gonna see the mage thing, it's gonna be the AI getting it instead of me. Perfect. Tales of Destiny, don't mind if I do. That actually worked out incredibly well. I'm gonna finish the round there before you get the last mage and like a scion and get 80 points and I cry. <laughs> Ooh, 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 we can guarantee princess. As long as I'm careful with when I play Natalia. Your name's Natalia, right? Pretty sure? I really need to play Abyss again. It's been a hot minute since I played Abyss last. Abyss is definitely high on the uh, replay value for my Tales of career right now. Well, this kind of sucks. Definitely Renegade. Get the two chosen together. No, I needed that one. That was the last Symphonia. Well, I'll take Asbel though. You know I'm continuing on this. I can get the princess. I'm amazed you haven't thrown out an Abyss yet. Please don't get one now. Ah, uh, you had an Abyss this entire time. Now I'm not gonna be able to get my princess. There's no way you don't go out. You need one sworn ally. I'm going for it anyways, because I'm greedy. Uh, you had Luke. You didn't go out though. You just stopped me from getting the princess one. But then I got heroic scion. I can't believe this worked out. Undeserved. Insanely undeserved by me. Let me go first. I want Mila and Jude. Yeah, buddy. There's nothing I love more than getting Mila and Jude immediately. Two scions. So they're, not only is it like, oh yeah, I got the, I got my OTP, but also at the same time, it was like a really good combo. I need some more Scions. I also would love to get Zelos here. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll take Rowan and Elise. If I could top deck Alfin, not Alfin, Alvin. It's two very different characters. This sucks. Nice. I predicted that. Yeah, this is, these hands have been pretty middling. Dang it, I needed that. Well, <laughs> oh, you got Scion. You're not gonna have enough points though, even with Sworn Ally. You got close actually. Like if you had had Renegade actually, you probably could have pulled that back. Pretty middling games, but we won both of them, so I can't really complain. Perhaps you are the one who will beat our father wherever he has gone. Yeah, so we have to find their father. And I know where he is, but I don't remember how to get there. We'll we'll get there later. But anyways, that's enough card games for now. We'll play more character cards before we leave Taliesin, probably. 
But for right now, let's uh, continue the story. I also want to try and fight the dire foe in East Gan. I would love to fight a dire foe today. Our scout ship has returned. And we only just got to East Gan, so we've never seen it before. Not in this playthrough, at least. I've obviously seen it when I did my platinum and when I did the original playthrough, probably. Wyvern Tendon Stew. Honestly, that makes me really hungry. <laughs> I don't even like stew. But the idea of, like, just dragon meat, I guess. I'm like, mm, yeah, you know? That festival over in a ball sure was fun, wasn't it? It sure was. What a cheerful and happy place. And the food was amazing. I'd love to go back sometime. I loved the prickle boar meatballs. Nico's quiche was so good. It was a master quiche. Kill him. This Nico must be a great cook. I'd love to try this master quiche. <laughs> Where did you learn a joke like that? Anyway, Taliesin's Fisherman Festival is coming up soon. We've got to show the folks from a ball a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna help my uncle catch lots of tasty fish for the festival. What do you think you'll catch? Uh, pickled mackerel, tuna rolls, oh, and duck stew. <laughs> Those are all the names of dishes, silly. And a duck isn't a fish, it's a bird. I swear, you don't think of anything but food. Nico's quiche. The quiche of legend that was spoken of in the in the prophecy, in the chronicles, the sacred texts. Wow. Yo, I just robbed this dude of like 4,000 gold. Ask me what this town's known for. Answer, stairs. Yeah, I've never seen this many stairs before in my life. You're close to the sea and the weather is beautiful and everything, but doesn't all this climbing make life here hard? Not at all. I've walked the stairs here since I was a child. A little climb like this is nothing. Everyone raised here has a strong set of legs and a sturdy back. You couldn't turn a profit selling back medicine here. No way, no how. D yo, can I redo my life and live in a ball? Sturdy legs and back? That sounds amazing. Can I, like, send all of my friends here from childhood? Do you know how many of my friends are like, oh, back problems? It's mostly Lauren and Jet and a little bit of Shroom, but still. They'd thank me for it. 